mic table. Hey, Joe, on the, the pace that your quarterbacks lead the offense, Ty's been quicker than Cole mm -hmm. for two weeks. So I wonder if you can assess where they are and how much did Cole's, uh, you know, his number was affected the other day when you guys have him lead trying to melt some clock. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of that is what you just said. I think, you know, early in the game, we were establishing tempo. Um, it wasn't by design or, or which quarterback was in there. I just think early in the game, obviously, we were playing with a lot of tempo. I think we snapped the ball 49 times in the first half and was doing a good job. Uh, Ty was doing a good job of pushing the tempo. And then in the second half, we felt like, you know, using some of our speed motion stuff, our, our fly sweep stuff was, was good, and it's hard to tempo when you're doing that. So I think that's... Uh, probably, if, if there's, uh, you know, if, if one guy's playing faster than the other, that's probably more what it is. Yeah, Joe, uh, yeah, Chad said he thought Gatlin played pretty well, did every snap. How, how, what did you think of his game? And I think you've played four true freshmen or red shirt freshman linemen. Is that a young guy like yourself? And, <laughs> and just, you know, how big would it be if and when you get, get Cole Jackson? No, it's, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting to see those young guys in there and, and playing at the level that Noah did. Um, you know, going in the game, I was a little uh, concerned with that. Um, you know, being his first time to, to start a game at this level, and he handled it extremely well. He did a great job uh, for us. Um, had a couple missed assignments here and there. Uh, the one that comes to mind is just a you know critical third down, but um, you know he did a really really good job for a true freshman, and it excites me to know that we got a lot of young guys playing and playing at a high level. Um, it's only going to make us better uh, as we move forward, and then when we can get the Coltons back and, and Shane back, um, you know it's going to make us you where know, we have a lot more depth and guys that can rotate in there and give us some and keep us fresh. Hey, Joe, uh, kind of a multi-part question here. You wanted to focus on the run game, and you wanted to focus on first down. Both of those markedly improved. Um, what happened? Well, can you talk about why why those were better? And then third downs seemed to bite you a little bit in this game. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I think um, you know we did. We spent a lot of time on our run game last week, um, and we and we were able to do some things obviously that um, we didn't do the week prior. And um, I think we definitely got a lot better. First down efficiency was 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 much much better. Kept us ahead of the chains. Um, you know, and then and then if we kept the ball on the ground on second down, you know, just having to be able to get the third mediums is where we definitely got to improve. And uh, you know, I don't know if it's we spent a little bit too much time on the run game last week, not enough time on the third medium or what, but we definitely got to improve. Five fifteen is not good enough at any level, and uh, that's something that we definitely got to address. Um, you know, our passing game the week before was really good, and um, you know, for whatever reason, I don't know if we just kind of. You know, lull ourselves to sleep at times, but um, we've got to be able to do a better job. And I, and I actually talked to our receivers and our quarterbacks yesterday. Um, you know, we got to be the best group in the country on the third medium. And um, you know, if we can do that, we can stay we can stay ahead of the chains on first down like we did, and convert those third mediums and stay on the field. Uh, you're going to see a much better football team. Uh, how will the first team reps situation break down with quarterbacks this week? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Um, you know, I think it's it's kind of been the same since we got here. You know, every week, every every practice has been a different one. Guy will have a good good practice with the next guy the next day, and it just keep, continues that. And, and we hope to eventually get to where we we can settle on one guy and just run with it. Um, you know, but you know, I thought Ty we went into last week and kind of wanted, wanted to see what they do in practice. Kind of challenged them both, and Ty by far practiced the best. Uh, I shared that with Cole last night. I said, dude, you got to practice better. If it's going to be you, um, we're not going to run a guy out there at, in a game that didn't show uh, that he was capable of practice. And I thought last week at practice, I didn't think Cole had one of his better weeks, and Ty did. Ty, Ty really took a, uh, took a step up after getting some confidence in that Eastern Illinois game. And, um, and he had a really good week of practice. So um, that's kind of how we'll approach it this week and, and see. Um, and see which, which one of those guys has the best week of practice and which guy we feel like gives us the best chance to win. I would assume you were pretty familiar with North Texas personnel and you can assess them. And also, as you watch the tape against SMU, knowing what you do about those SMU players' strengths and weaknesses, how much are you able to glean out of how you know, North Texas was able to counter some of that? 
Yeah, a lot. Um, knowing knowing those guys and knowing what they did, um, I know it's a it's a similar offense, but in, in that regard, but it's a lot. What we've done over the years is a little bit different from what they're doing now, and and um, and so yeah, we are familiar with those guys. They they have replaced some guys from last year's team uh, with some really good players. Uh, they've got a couple of transfers, and uh, they're playing really well. Uh, they're pressuring the quarterback and. Um, you know they're they're not sitting still on you. They're they're moving around a lot, flying around the ball. Got a lot of confidence, obviously, and so this is going to be another good test for us. Uh, you know, thankfully we've got them at home and in front of our home crowd, and, and uh, we'll be prepared for them. We've been working all morning on them and trying to get a good base game plan going this morning, and then we'll continue that all day today and all night tonight. You you tried out four different running backs. How tough is it to decide how to split up those reps and which? Which running backs run which plays and stuff like that? Well, you always want to find the guy that's hot. Um, and we felt like Devois obviously had the hot hand, and uh, we rode with him. Um, you know, with being, we didn't try to make a big deal about it last week. But being in that altitude, we felt like we had to rotate those guys a little bit. And, and each one of them, you know, they, they bring something different to the table. And I think they, all four of them did a really good job um, when they were in there. Um, but I, I like that. I like to be able to keep, you know, rotate it back and keep those guys uh, healthy and, and throughout the whole season, but also fresh in the game. And then you kind of in the in the second half, you kind of find who, who's the got the hot hand and ride with them. Coach Jared, I don't think he's had a catch yet.